right, in this video, we're going to talk about hyping up the HyperDoc. Uh, I'll first go quickly through what a HyperDoc is. There's a lot of different definitions. Basically, you take a Google Doc and you try and give it some organization, some structure, and you create a collaborative space for students to be able to share their thoughts and ideas. And it doesn't even have to be collaborative. Here is an example. This one is collaborative, however. Uh, this one is one I built all on the book Matilda, chapters four through six. I took the questions from a teacher and I built it in HyperDoc form so that way the students could collaborate. They put in their names, they put in their answer. All the answer spots are in green. The chapters uh, are bas basically different colors. This chapter is yellow, this chapter is pink, and then I think the sixth chapter is purple. And it gives them spaces for them to collaborate and share their answers with each other and their thoughts. And they do this while they, they sit around in circles. That just gives you an idea of what a HyperDoc is. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how we can hype it up even more and do some cool things with it. It doesn't have to be super complex by any means. I'm going to be pretty basic here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building one. And so I'm going to have a question here first. I'm going to start with a table, insert a table. I'm going to have this be a two column space here. Uh, so there we go. There's my table. Nothing super complex so far. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to merge these two so I can have a question at the top. I like putting the question in a merged cell here at the top. So I'm going to call this, center it, I'm going to say Old Yeller Study. Let's say you have a group of students working on the book Old Yeller. And I'm going to ask a question in regard to the book. I'm going to say this. Okay, there we go. So over here, I'm going to put in this box. Actually, I'm going to format this entire thing here. My font is just too big. I'm going to make this the name box. And over here, I'm going to say Google Drawing. There we go. I'm also going to make this pretty, add some color to it. There we go. Now we have some nice different colors here. So now what the students can do is they have this HyperDoc here. They could, they could even have a link to a video or a link directly to a picture. If you wanted to supply a specific picture that you want them to caption, you could provide that link and they could insert it. You could do it however you want. So here's what the students would do. You could upload this to Google Classroom. You could just share the document directly with these students. They could collaborate on it together. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my name and I'm gonna go ahead and insert my Google Drawing. So I'm gonna go to Insert Drawing and to build this, I'm just gonna go here to my image icon so I can insert an image of Old Yeller. And I could upload one if I downloaded one, or if I have one pre-saved, I can get it from my albums or my Google Drive. I'm gonna go ahead and go to search here. I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna put it in quotation marks because then it keeps Old Yeller together. And here's some pictures I could use. There's a cover of the book. Um, here's a good one. I like this. This is straight from the movie. I'm going to go ahead and select it and insert it. And now the students can adjust it however they want. Now, they can adjust the size of the picture. They can also insert a background. I'm going to insert a background color here so that way it's not just transparent. Those checkers mean transparent. And I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to choose a call out. When I go to the call outs, I see here that there are some speech bubbles or thought bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And I'm going to adjust where this piece is so it goes closer to Travis. I can also adjust the color of this box if I want it. If I want to get all fancy, it's up to you how you want to do it. I can adjust the thickness of the line can even make it dotted if I want. So here we go. If I want to type in here, I can double click. Once I double click in there, the cursor pops up. I have a more button and I can adjust the size of the font and the font itself. Okay, I'm going to use some Comic Sans here. I'm going to center it. I'm going to say... Okay, now... 
As you can see, it doesn't fit quite right. I can adjust the text if I need to make it smaller or larger or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this box. I'm gonna make it larger so that way it fits the entire text. There we go, I have it right there by Travis. And now when I hit save and close, it's now in my HyperDoc. I not only have my name, but I have the Google drawing. Now, if you want this to be collaborative, the students can see each other's response if they want to comment on each other's or share their thoughts. You could add a commenting feature to this assignment. So students, if you need them to make a comment, you could click right here and hit comment, comment, and now the students can leave a comment. All right, I'm gonna hit the comment button and now it is inserted about this image, this Google drawing that was built right here. Okay, so that's a fun way to hype up the HyperDoc, including Google Drawings. So by inserting a drawing, you are creating opportunities for students to visualize what they're thinking is.